there is a case for coyote hunting contests. Most hunters have limited days they can hunt each season. Thus, most hunters will hunt deer or other preferable game animals on the days they have available as food is the primary motivator for hunters. However, we must not forget that hunters also serve an important role in putting pressure on problem animals to prevent overpopulation. When animal populations exceed the carrying capacity of the environment, animals suffer malnutrition and diseases. The effects of overpopulation on animal populations can be devastating. In rural areas, farmers seek to put pressure on coyote populations to limit their livestock losses. In urban areas, there is increasing conflict between humans and coyotes as these animals can target pets or children. There is increasing circulation of news on the internet that coyote populations cannot be controlled so we must learn to live with them. However, according to a wildlife management specialist with Kansas State University the coyote population has increased threefold since the late 1980s when the coyote fur market crashed. That event combined with increasingly strict hunting and trapping regulations for the coyote have limited opportunity to pressure coyotes. As food is often the main motivator for a hunter and it is difficult to break that focus, a once-a-year coyote hunting contest may be a great motivator and impulse for many hunters to come together for one day to put pressure on a nuisance population. Outside of a contest these hunters may never put the time or effort in otherwise. Elimination of contests may drastically reduce the number of available hunters for a nuisance coyote population and rather than having volunteer hunters control this population, local governments may end up hiring professional nuisance animal control using taxpayer money when overpopulation becomes too much of an issue. We must never forget the hunter's important role in conservation. The hunter pays for his license and equipment and the funds from those sales are then used to fund our wildlife organizations and many of those funds contribute toward the public purchase of conservation land. Within those lands, the hunter is a part of that ecosystem and plays a vital role in keeping populations in check.